Alien sightings increase. Is this an invasion? At least it's pretty. Researcher responds over alleged algae invasion. Dwarferia Tech teams up with Golemix Industries to produce self-healing concrete technology. Interesting. Self-healing concrete. Very interesting. Was that purple bear there? Ooh, purple bear there before? Hey, uh, I don't remember everyone's voices. Uh, sorry, Bailey's. Hang on, I gotta check my phone because if I don't check it, it'll go away forever. Mm. Singer at Glover. Part time. Interesting. Okay. You wanna know where I got all my awesome sunglasses? Oh god. Um normal reschedule. Very lucky to have people who that should be who are with me, Aqua, but okay. And no matter what, I won't take it for granted. Oh, Aqua's so cute. Okay. Sorry, Baileys. Yep. Wait, there's still Oh, okay. <clears throat> knock knock. Anyone there? Mr. Baileys, hi. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you come in. How are you tonight? I'm alright. You look pretty distracted. A penny for your thoughts. Ah, uh, you can have them for free. I was just pondering the hidden side of things. How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. Nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. <coughs> Funny, I was having similar thoughts on my way here. I guess that now we spend too much time on social media. People believe we can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not that easy to know someone. Even if that someone is yourself. Especially if that someone is yourself. <laughs> Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. And it's been on my mind the p in the past few days. Does that have anything to do with to your... Does that have anything to do with your wedding to Miss Lua? Got it in one. How are things on that front? Hmm. A few days ago, we decided to take some part time apart to think, wow, my teeth are not in straight today. Oh my god. I just found one of the pieces I lost of my Millennium Falcon. Oh. Oh, where can I put you that's safe? Go in this tiny little drawer. Oh, I can't believe I just found that. What the fuck? Cool. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hmm. uh, a few days ago, we decided to take some time apart to think. That sounds ominous. No, I, I don't mean it like that. It wasn't a breakup or even a break. Yeah. We've just been, uh, we've been through so much. There's no walking back on our relationship now. But sometimes you're together. Oh, fuck my life. My eyes. But sometimes you're so together that you lose sight of the big picture, you know? I think I see what you mean. So we decided to give each other a bit of space and figure out what we really want out of our wedding. And more importantly, well, uh, importantly, out of our marriage. I see. Have you made any progress on that front? That's the second time we've asked about that front in that way. It's... Do you want the short version or the long version? I'm always here for the full story. All right, then. I'm going to tell you everything. But I think I should order first. Sure thing. What can I make you tonight? Ping, hi. How are you doing? I'm not feeling fussy. Anything warm would do. So anything, really. Makes sense. What about some herbal tea then? Hibiscus? Butterfly pea? Butterfly pea or hibiscus sounds great. With milk and honey, please. Okay, I'm gonna do... That. Let's see what that does. I can't remember if we've had this one before. Is this one with the love hearts? Yeah, the sweetheart latte. Uh, let's do some latte art. 
Okay, the hot water for him. <laughs> trying to make it into like a little love heart because it's a sweetheart latte right good enough i think good enough here you go i hope you like it he said anything warm he did say anything warm thanks zoe this is so nice and it brings me way back you know, I'm not really in touch with my family anymore. Yes, I, I'm sorry about that. Don't be. I don't even miss them most of the time. In the end, they're just a random bunch of people. And we don't have that much, uh, very much in common. It's good that you've learned that about yourself, Mr. Baileys. I think so too. There's just one person I miss. But I've been missing her for a while now. Ah, someone who passed away, I'm guessing? Exactly. Spot on again, Zoe. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Dabukin. I used to have a very close relationship with my great-great-aunt. When I was little, my parents fought all the time. I still remember in my bones how that made me feel. Oh, that's a mood. The fear that one of them or both of them would walk away and abandon me. A bit ironic in hindsight, but then it was many years ago. Yes, it's quite normal for a little child to care about their parents, no matter who they are or how they behave. That's true. Anyway, I spent almost all my evenings curled up into a ball in my room, trying hard not to listen to all the shouting. <sighs> Baileys, I need you to stop being so relatable. I feel like I need to go put on my fucking red shirt. Except when my gran came to visit. Not that her being around prevented the fighting, mind you. Elven High Society is amazing at keeping up appearances. Except in front of family. Hi, Arosa. But she got how it made me feel, so she went out of her way to take the sting out of it. She would keep me company and bring me a cup of herbal tea, with milk and honey in it. Drinking this now, with you, it feels a lot like family again. You smell like a barbecue. Had some fun after I left work. Some apartment fire was burning. I hope they got out. Oh, shit. Fuck. I hope they got out, too. Jesus. Sounds like she was a very... Uh, sounds like she was a... <laughs> sounds like she was a perceptive person. My, I am not awake. Do you know what? I got out of bed, like, two hours ago. <laughs> I'm not fucking awake yet. I just barely finished eating in time to take my pills before starting stream. <laughs> mm. Smack my cheeks awake. She truly was the best of them until she got sick. Oh no, how did that happen? I thought elves don't get sick. Ah, uh, see, that's a part of elven disinformation. Elves don't get sick with your little run-of-the-mill colds, but they do get big, bad diseases, like everyone else. At least eight fire trucks, Jesus. I really hope everyone's got out okay. And it's not uncommon for us to die from them. Except there's this assumption in elven society that if you live the right sort of life, you'll pass away peacefully in your bed. So that's what families say most of the time when someone dies. Incidentally, that also means they need to pretend everything is fine until the very last moment. So that's what they did to my aunt. They basically shut her in during her last few weeks. That's... That sounds really awful. I did manage to visit her, and she put on a brave face, but it was clear she wasn't happy. But then she wasn't very happy before that either. At least she had you. It must have been little consolation but yes i'm glad i was able to be with her Ugh, to think that i 
came very close to being trapped with those people. I'm pretty sure she would have hated that for me. A little part of me hopes she'd be proud of me right now. I'm certain she would be. Thanks, Zoe. Here you are, letting me blab on again. That's more than fine, but... Do you think growing up among conflict might explain why things are, well, a bit difficult to work out sometimes between you and Lua? I definitely think that's part of it. In fact... Wow, that's so relatable. It is horrible, yeah. And it's horrifically relatable. <laughs> growing up constantly surrounded by conflict and then when you're trying to be a well-adjusted adult, you're just not and you don't know how to properly work out friction in friendships and relationships because you were never taught the right way to do it and you're about to turn 30 and you still can't don't like confrontation and it makes you really nervous even if it's only the tiniest thing because when every tiny thing is blown up to horrific proportions that lead to catastrophic arguments you're terrified to bring up even the tiniest issue with any friend ever yeah, no, definitely can't relate to that. Mm -mm, not me, not one bit. Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, look, it's the aliens. <laughs> Good evening. Hi, Zoe. And hi, I don't think we've met before. I'm Silver. I'm Baileys, nice to meet you. And I'm guessing you're Amanda? We are, but you do not appear to be a hive. How did you... Lua told me she ran into you a week or so ago. Oh, the perp, I mean, the nice earthling we met on our first night here. That is a satisfactory explanation. And so, are you her date? I'm a little more than that. I'm her fiancé. Truly? Fiancé is a successful outcome of dates with a 0.013p probability. Congratulations on your excellent odds actual actualization. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Cafe Offspring, we are wishing for a drink. Cafe Offspring! <laughs> Cafe Offspring? How did you acquire that new title? Sorry, my mum just scared the shit out of me. <sighs> Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> nice work, thank you, Tabukin. Or when you're over 30 and you're completely too reliant on others' happiness because that's the only way you would stay out of trouble when you were younger was to keep your mother happy. So no, you sacri So now you sacrifice too much of yourself to make sure the people around you are happy. Oh God, yes, relatable. But uh, trying to keep a father happy, not a mother. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's ugh, fuck me, man. Oof. Millennials, we are full of trauma. Millennials, we really need therapy. Today's PSA, get to, get yourself some therapy if you don't have it already. It, you, you, if you think you might need it, you probably do. And if you're a millennial and you think maybe you don't need it, you probably still also do. The entire millennial generation needs fucking therapy, I swear to God. Even if it's just to teach us how to efficiently self-regulate. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> uh, um. Alright, sounds like something I shouldn't prod too hard. That's what she said? Never mind me. You were about to order, Amanda. We were... And what we wish for is a memorable parting experience. Ah, I suspected something like that. Last visit in a while, huh? That is accurate. I take it you've completed your research on Earth. Almost. We are quite satisfied with the outcomes of our missions. Interesting. That sounds like there's a story there. But first, tell me, what sort of, what sort of experience are you after? <laughs> we wish to have something we have never had before it's time to get creative then yes take care not to reuse any ingredient you have served us in the past oh god fuck okay i oh god have we given her chocolate have we given her tea oh god ah 
<laughs> okay, I don't even think I've used mint this entire time. So I think I'm going to go with a really cool hot chocolate. A pound of mint. Mint chocolate. Like, doesn't that... Honestly, that looks really good. Uh, do I have anything to give her? Email, email, just a phone number. Was I meant to give that to someone? Oh, maybe I meant to give it to... Um... Oh, God, I don't remember. I don't remember who I was meant to give it to. Oh, well. <laughs> Here, Amanda. Here you go. Hopefully this tastes new to you. It does. Yes. It is at least 56.941% different from anything else we have experienced. We are, as Earthlings would express, delighted. According to our calculations, this is our 39,846th new experience since arising, arriving on Earth. Blah, blah, blah. That's quite a lot. Perhaps, however, most of them were rather insignificant in nature. Oh, what about this one? This one is in the 99th percentile of significance. Is that good or bad? She means it's very significant, right, Amanda? Very much so. We enjoyed this place and we will miss it. That's... <clears throat> Don't mind me getting a bit emotional here. Anyhow, I trust the agent gave you no more trouble? Ah, oh, that one was quite close, actually. We had a little brush with the authorities, you see. Yeah, Lua mentioned that. He made her really angry. She was still seething when she came home that night. Ah, oh, please tell her I'm grateful for that. Well, that agent kept looking into things, even after his second visit here. But that's where your help really came in handy, Zoe. My help? Yes, the card that you got off the agent. We asked for help from an associate to run it through the mind you call computer. <laughs> Once the contents of the card had been unveiled, we analyzed the language of its communication, which is quite an interesting mix, if we may say so. It is roughly 60.0923% syntax and 39.9077% mathematics. We then led a polynomial time attack on its encryption, expressing the ciphertext as, um, the point is, Amanda managed to get into the fire system. She obfuscated all mentions of any of us or save beyond recognition. Recognition. The perfect voice of the character. Thank you, Tibbukin. <laughs> and some totally legitimate orders came in to send the agent to Europe on an urgent mission which should last more than long enough for him to forget about all of us. Whoop, that sounds incredible. It does sound thrilling. Ah, uh, it was a very simple matter of applying hive knowledge. Be that as it may, that's great work, Amanda. We are pleased. Amanda is amazing. But let's not forget who got the card in the first place. You really helped us there, Zoe. Thank you. I'm very glad to hear that, and very relieved. Yes, we have thought on it for a while and we have decided we do not care for that sort of excitement. Oh, I got an achievement. Not if it makes our siblings so sad. You've really gotten a hang of emotions now, haven't you, Amanda? Thank you, offspring. If that is the case, we are content. That means our mission is well and truly accomplished. Did you come here specifically to pick up earthling emotions? No, we came here for the purposes of general earthling research, but it appears to us now that emotions are one of its most interesting aspects. We will be submitting a, you call it, academic paper. Uncontrolled stimuli and reflexive neural patterns, deep level communication in hive versus non-hive species. Wow. That's how I, you know, it's serious research. I don't even understand the title. Amanda always was the brains in the family. That wasn't your only mission, though, Amanda, right? If you're leaving, does that mean... Yes. Pearl and I did go out on a date. 
Right, you're looking for love, aren't you? I am. I was, I think. I, I think I may have found it. Wait, wasn't the first date a really short time ago? Just a couple of days. But I've been waiting a while and I really think this is it. When I took up the, this mission from the hive, when I came to Earth, and during this entire process when I changed and changed, that what I was hoping was that someone would see me for who I am. And I really think she does. That's so great, but I'm curious. Doesn't being in a hive provide that experience of feeling seen? It does, and it does not. And in fact, we hope that is something our research might improve. The hive sees thoughts and desires honestly, but it is not able to communicate the reasons for those desires. The emotions, as it were. We do not dwell on those, nor will we start to do so in excess. But it seems to us now that they may be worth conveying, at least to some extent. Yes, what Amanda said is a part of it. I was very unaware of my emotions when I first came to Earth. And it, I was really bad at communicating them clearly to others. In some ways, I still am. It will, be, it will always be harder for me to grasp them than for most people. But when I start to understand them, I was both fascinated and scared. Which is not a uncommon, uh, an uncommon experience, I think. Well, I really can't read today. It's really not. It requires a good deal of courage to look at your emotions honestly. It certainly requires some time. And even more to f time to find someone who can look at them with you. Not get scared and take them as they are. Someone who can see you clearly and kindly. It is a precious thing when that happens, huh? A rare and beautiful thing. It really is. Has that been your experience with Lua? It definitely has. I almost forgot how much it mattered, too. I'm lucky that I have good friends who reminded me of that. So, does that mean you and Lua found some answers? Oh, the heck with it. I can't hold my tongue any longer. I'm sorry to interrupt your goodbyes, you guys, but... Zoe, I'd like to officially invite you to a little surprise ceremony which will take place three days hence wow that's some answers indeed yeah taking a little time to think really cleared our heads we had gotten bogged down in the details and in our own insecurities to be honest so we decided to make it simple again no fuss no massive expense nothing like that just us and our closest family members whether we got them at birth or chose them ourselves oh that's so cute I am very touched, Mr. Baileys. Ah, come on, Zoe. You know you mean a lot to the two of us, as does this place. Speaking of which, I also have Hyde's invitation here. Special invitation card for a certain someone. Well, Hyde and Gala's invitation, seeing how that's his obvious plus one. Would you give it to them when you see them? It would be an honor. Silver and Amanda, I don't have a card for you, but you're in the cafe family as well, so I'm sure Lua won't mind. Would you like to join us for the party? A uh, party. This is our first experience being invited to a party. It is 99.999% pleasant and 0.001% disappointing that we have to refuse. Yes, I truly appreciate the offer, Baileys, but sadly we're leaving Seattle tomorrow. Really? That's more sudden than I expected. Are you going back to space then, Amanda? Not yet. We are going on an adventure. Careful of columns. Especially the game. That sounds very exciting. It really is. Amanda and I are taking a trip through the country. And maybe even a bit further if we've got time. We're basically going to be tourists. Tourist is such a fascinating concept. Although our sibling explained it to us multiple times, we still find it very hard to comprehend. We always thought that travelling must have a mission, a purpose. But it seems that tourism is travelling with no other purpose than travelling, which is, in essence, circular reasoning. <laughs> it may well be, but it's still a lot of fun. In fact, I'd say that's the real purpose of tourism. To have fun, to relax, to see beautiful things. To enjoy life, you know? Enjoyment as a purpose... That is new to us, but we are 99.999% excited to try it out. And so am I. 
I've never been out of Seattle since I arrived. I guess I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to blend in, that I would have to restart everything from scratch. But knowing that you're here, Zoe, that I always have a place to return to where I feel home. I'll feel home. Well, that makes me a lot less nervous. That's... I'm very happy to hear that. While you're all doing that, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, who did what? What happened? Notifications bugging me. Oh, <gasps> oh, we finally unlocked the, like, all of the friendship with Bailey's. Yay. His birthday's three days after mine. That might be an observation I've made before, but my memory's terrible. Isn't it pumpkin spice since I was a wee lad? Seeing him call himself a wee lad makes me want to give him a Scottish accent, but I, I have spent a day. I'm not changing their accents now. <laughs> Ahem. I think I should order a drink. Of course. What can I make you? I'd like it to reflect the spirit of our upcoming adventure, but I'm also in the mood for something sweet and soothing. So sweet and soothing, but with an adventurous kick. Yes, that's exactly right. And how about some hot chocolate with something extra to make it fun? Ah, oh, I'd love that. Some hot chocolate with some sweetness and spice would be amazing. Okay, wow, making them both chocolate. Sweetness and spice, so honey and ginger? Or honey and cinnamon? Oops. Do we have a hot chocolate that's got that? In those ingredients yet uh, no we've got the spiced lady which is milk and cinnamon but we don't have one with honey and cinnamon okay let's brew it and see what that makes just a honey cinnamon chocolate that's great Here you go. I hope you like it. It's not quite there. Ah, oh, damn it. But never mind. I'm so excited I can barely taste anything anyway. E wrong spice. Wrong spice. Maybe it should have been ginger. I can imagine. A first trip across the country is a big deal. It is, but that's not the only reason I'm excited. Okay, that was quite the dramatic pause. I really want to know what you're going to say now. You guys seem to lead very interesting lives. <laughs> oh, not at all. I think I'm quite a boring person. With a secret society and an alien background? It's true that some of my life circumstances are a bit unusual. But this particular thing is very commonplace. I, um, our sibling is excited because his date will be joining us. And in fact, we must be fair and acknowledge that we may have misjudged her based on her lack of facial symmetry. Although Pearl's features are 9.231% different from left to right. We agree that her movie analysis, we agree with her movie analysis, 99.999%. Wow. Hold on. Amanda, you have met Pearl and you talked about movies and now she's joining you two on a holiday how did any of that happen we watched orc westerns all together uh, all together last night pearl likes them a lot as well you don't exactly sound thrilled i fortunately she also likes space travel operas huh i see learning Couple compromises the hard way. One sec, I need to put my phone on silent. I don't know. I suppose so. Well, I'm glad to hear that she's met Amanda and that they got along. Does that mean she also knows where you're from, Silver? She does. 
In fact, I told her about that on our first day. Oh, red flags are going up. Wow, that's very brave. It's very hard to put yourself out there under any circumstances. To reveal something zoned so vulnerable to someone you've just met and are starting to like, it takes guts. Ah, uh, you're very kind, but I don't think so. Oh, thanks for hydrating. To be honest, I hadn't planned it in that way. Although I have always felt safe here with all the regulars, I know that not everyone will be open-minded about me. And so I wasn't sure I'd say anything to Pearl that night. But as we were talking, I was so happy to learn more about her, about who she is, and I realized that I didn't want her to have an incomplete picture of me. My past is a part of me. If my goal is to find someone who sees me for who I am, then she needs to know about that too. And in the end, that was the right decision. Well, I will say that if she'd heard your story and that changed how she viewed you, then she wouldn't have been worth your time anyway. That's fair. But still, even knowing that, I admire you a lot. The truth is, and this is a bit of a strange thing to say, but I think I'm proud of who I've become, and I want the people I love to be proud of me too. What is proud? Proud is, hmm. For yourself, I think it's when you start to be satisfied with what you're achieving, especially if you have to fight to get there. And for others, it's when you think of someone you care about, consider who they are and the way they're acting, and it just fills you with joy. Ah, uh, we see. Then we are definitely proud of you. I... You two are a really sweet family. And so are you, Mrs. Lua, ba uh, and Ms. Lua, Mr. Baileys. <laughs> True. Chosen families can also rock. Yes, when we met Pearl, we came to a conclusion. There is no difference in nature or expression between a family that you are born with and a family that you acquire by choice. Both demand work and understanding. There may be min minute differences in the specific process, but the bond appears to be 99.999% similar in the end. So it is. Well, we should probably get going. Yes, we must go pack. First time I see someone get excited about that specific part. What Amanda really means is that I must pack while she analyzes the earthling ritual of folding shirts, rolling up socks and so on. Precisely. This is further information for our research. We are thrilled. Good luck, Silver. Indeed. Enjoy your trip, both of you. I hope you'll tell us all about it when you're back, Silver. I will. Good night to you two, then. Hasta la vista, strangers. Huh? Or questions. Ah, bye to you two. Hasta la vista, baby. There's never a dull moment in your cafe, Zoe. I try. Speaking of which, would you like to hold some party or after party for your wedding here? I know it's not a very large space, but perhaps whether we'd like it, we'd love it. Honestly, I didn't want to impose, but there's no place that could be a better fit. And I don't mind that it's not very large. That's what she said. It's going to be a small, cozy wedding. So this is perfect. It's settled then. Ugh, Lua's going to be over the moon when I tell her. In fact, I'm going to go and tell her now. That's a very exciting prospect. It really is. Thanks again, Zoe. You're like a guardian angel for us. And on that note, I'm off. Good night. More like a guardian hive mind. Good night, Mr. Baileys.
I wonder if by the end of this game we're going to tell everyone that we're actually an alien. Mm -hmm.